Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from freelamon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Analytics video. In our previous video, we learned about how to register for a free trial. In this video, we are going to learn about user interface. This is Mike Sangvi and thanks for joining me, Vlamon. In this video, so let's start and this is our IBM Cognos Analytics and this is our home page so let me enable full screen and this is our ibm cognos analytics home page so this is ibm cognos 11 you can say this is ibm cognos 11 and here our ibm cognos 10 so let me switch back to our ibm cognos analytics in the left we have home so we are if we are going to click on home we are going to react on this page then we have option to search my content team content and recent history if i'm going to compare this then in cognos 10.2 this is our search this is our home and this is our public and my folder the public folder everyone able to see everything and in my folder this is my personal folder similarly similarly in our ibm cognos analytics or you can say ibm cognos 11 this is my content folder so this is private content this is for private content and team content team content you can say it is a public folder so everyone in your organization or in your team are able to see contents available in team content folder if you are able to see this green so this is only for a hint access content this is where you can access your personal content my content and your organization content team content so this is just a hint if you want to turn off the hint you can click on this url and if you want to re-enable hint then you need to click on this your profile icon and then click on my preferences and show i think show hints here this is uh, this option is going to enable hints so this is about home search my content team content and descent next is manage using this you can manage your data server connections you can go on administration console you can go on new job in data server connection you can check existing data source connection or you can create new data source connection in this we are we have lots of option for data source connection we can use amazon we can use big sql we can use db2 we can use uh, lots of option we have to create a data source connection so this is about the data source connection type let me close this and i want to move back and this is our manage menu next is administration console if i'm going to open this this is similar to your cognos 10 or cognos Z administrator or administration so let me change to cognos 10 and if i'm going to click on launch and uh, i think it is available here launch and ibm cognos administration so this is ibm cognos administration uh, you may know so in our IBM Commons administration, you are only able to see contents based on your privileges. So let me switch back to IBM Commons Analytics. So this is IBM Commons Analytics. Here I am able to see data source connection and I am able to delete data source connection. If I have, I'm not sure whether I'm able to delete it, but I don't want to delete it right now. So I'm not going to delete this. So this is about IBM Commons administration. If you want to go back on home then you need to change tab ibm cognos administration is open in new tab so you need to exit full screen first i think it's f11 and this is our ibm cognos analytics home let's see what is inside new job here you can create a new job let's say this is my test job description same screen tip same click on next Oh, uh, we need to select our location first. So I'm going to select my folder and then click on next. And here we can select the entries in the job. We are going to learn more about new job wizard in our upcoming videos. Right now we don't have anything in my content. So I'm going to click on cancel. So this is all about uh, manage. 
next we have new in new we can create a new report new dashboard new story new data model or we can create other so in other we have workspace okay so in new we can create report dashboard story data modules in other we have workspace or we can upload files so reports are similar to your cognos report studio reports so we are going to learn more about everything in our upcoming videos videos now one thing is new here is uh, lots of thing is new like uh, dashboard story data models everything is new but the important thing i want to discuss is data model in framework manager we can create or uh, we can combine data from multiple sources here we can use data models to combine data from multiple sources we can create joins we can modify columns we can rename columns we can rename data source tables we can add or calculate columns we can apply filters lots of things we can do in data models in this video we are not going to cover data models we are going to cover data models in our upcoming videos you may ask data model is going to replace common framework manager the answer is no in data models you can combine data from multiple sources but for advanced option you need to use framework manager so the process are going to be same you need to create fm models you can create package then you need to publish those framework manager packages in cognos connection or you can say cognos analytics so we are going to learn about data models data servers upload files data sets in our upcoming videos so let me close this new uh, i'm going to click on home okay and let's check the hint for manage and new for manage administrative administer environment manage content and create or modify user schedules or data sources for new the hint is this is where you upload data and create content okay so let me close this on the top we have a ellipse button if i'm going to click on this uh, we can check or we can change our home page so we can select a report or dashboard or story to set as a home page it is similar to your cognos 10 option where you can change your home page using this option so let's say if i'm going to go uh set home page my administrative so every time uh, i'm going to click on this home then i'm going to redirect on administration page and if i'm going to click on back and i'm going to change or i'm going to set you as my home okay now this is my home page so this is the same option available here set as home page let's see what is inside hint you can set the current report dashboard or story as your home page so this is in hint now the notification this to notification or alerts you can check from different reports different uh, team members all are available here so this is the first notification this is to do's uid from i'm not sure who is this and i received in this notification on 18th december i think 2017 let's see what is this so i think this is nothing to do uh type message status read owner is i'm not sure who is this so i'm going to i have option to delete this notification and see my notification count is decreases from the top again notification test uh, this is at number 2017 11 15 i just noticed you you can edit your own connection now not sure how long it will last but it's definitely worth please ps don't put your pro database connection here as they will be available to all user happy reporting okay so this is all about notification let me check the next option this is our profile here we can check my schedules and subscription here we can check my, uh, change my preference log my session my inbox my watch items and finally the sign out option and the last is for help and the first option here is about ibm cognos analytics 
at the time of recording this video we are using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.0.1 so I'm going to close this and then next is the documentation and support portal okay now this big white reason is our actual workspace or work area right now here we are able to see the welcome message and this is where we are going to see our content this is a drag and drop file option where we can drop our data source files or data files now this is for quick reference the first option is get started inside get started we have overview get started video workshop data modules and dashboard next we have sample data guide to the sample data sets and the last is the support page IBM knowledge center so this is about IBM Kaunal analytics home page or you can say welcome page we are going to learn more about ibm cognos analytics user interface in our upcoming videos in our next video we are going to first upload some data files and then we are going to create a data model using our data files some important warnings